My name is Sarah Nirad, and I'm a young person in long-term recovery, which means I haven't used drugs or alcohol since I was 17. For me, recovery means that I have a better way of life today, a way of life that doesn't cause destruction everywhere I go, that I get to be free and I get to be happy, and I get to know who and what I am and be confident in what I do. I had tried to stop on my own, and I couldn't. I, I couldn't stop, it got significantly worse. It tore my family apart. Um, it's, it's one of those things that's very hush-hush. They felt alone a lot of the time. They didn't know who to talk to, where to turn. It came to the point to where I knew it wasn't gonna get any better for me. So I'm only going to go downhill very quickly. After I crossed this line, there, I mean, the line of no return. It had, had been crossed, I couldn't go back. And that was scary. It was scary to be that young and to look at my life and realize, you know, what I had just made out of it. So I was, you know, sent away to treatment a couple of times. And that second time, you know, things had happened in my life that took a toll on myself. I decided to cooperate and I decided to stop fighting. To stop fighting everyone, everything. To stop fighting myself, my family and to just drop all that stuff that I was carrying with me and just start over. You know, I couldn't tell you a definitive moment when it happened, but I just woke up one day and I knew that I, you know, I was serious about this and I was committed to this and this was something that I was gonna fight to protect. I wasn't gonna let anyone or anything come in the way of me and my recovery. Fortunately, I got to be a part of a collegiate recovery community. It was a lot of fun. We often hear that being young in recovery, we have a lot of firsts, so I didn't know I didn't, I've never experienced college any other way but being in recovery. And the collegiate recovery community for me offered an outlet to meet people that I knew were safe for me to be around. Um, it offered me things to go and do, offered me safe places to go to, support when I needed it. They gave me opportunities and they believed in me. Today, I, I mean, I can do whatever I want to do because I, I'm in recovery and I'm young and I have my whole life ahead of me. I can go after what I want. I can experience things today and I can remember what I experienced. I mean, it's a great way to live. You know, I wake up and I feel good. I wake up and I think positive thoughts. I'm not carrying around all this luggage that I used to carry around. All of that is gone. And I don't keep picking up luggage. You know, I've stopped. The good thing about recovery is that it's put my family back together and we use those horrible times that we went through to help other people, to help other family members in the community that don't know where to go and that are ashamed to talk about it. We're able to say, hey, there's no shame in this. Ask for help, talk about it, and we can get you some help.